Hey there guys, Pajama Prepper here, KC1CWP, and in this video, part of the radio communication series, I'm going to show you how to program a frequency into the memory on your Kenwood THK20 transceiver. Now this is a monoband transceiver, meaning it's on one band, it's not a dual bander or a tri-bander, it's just on the uh, 144 megahertz band or a 2 meters band. Now the first things first is that this is a very simple radio to program and I ordered a uh, Kenwood Mobile 2 meter radio for my car. I really only focus on VHF. I don't do a lot with UHF. Um, so I tend to focus on you know uh, the 2 meter band and some other frequency. I think the I really would focus more on 2 meters and 6 meters than I would on uh, 70 centimeters. And also a 220. I might if I can get a cheap 220 handheld. But in any case, we have to go into VFO mode by hitting this button here. Okay, now I have the volume down just because there is some interference when I got close to the camera. We are going to go into memory mode, or excuse me, VFO mode, and I'm going to look for a, a frequency on here that I don't have programmed in. This is a repeater down in Terryville. I do not have this in the memory yet. So what you're going to do is then, once you find the frequency that you're looking for, is you're going to hit enter. This makes it blank, and then you're going to enter the frequency. One, four, seven, three, one, five. Okay. Now, because it autom has, see, that's what I'm talking about. It has auto uh, repeater in it, so it already sets the offset to plus, which it is. It's plus six, and the tone is 88.5. So, in order to select the tone and make sure it's correct, what you're going to do is hit tone select. See, it's at 77. We need that at 88.5. So I'm going to turn the ENC knob up here. Okay, this is the volume knob, and this also turns power on off. This is the ENC. It's like having up and down arrows. We're going to go 88.5 and then hit tone select again. The offset, excuse me, we're going to go into menu, and menu option 7 is offset. If you're not at menu option 7, you can use the... Uh, the ENC to get to it. And then what you're going to do is hit function and you can see it's at point, uh, 0 0.6. If you wanted to change it, again you turn the ENC knob and then once that's all set you hit function again and then menu to exit. Uh, to check to make sure that the frequencies, the receive and transmit frequencies are correct we're going to hit the reverse key here, or the 8 key, and that shows us a reverse frequency of 147915. And we're going to compare that to the transmit frequency, 147915, okay. I'm going to turn that off, and it's going to go back to the right one. I'm going to put squelch on 4 for now to kind of get that out of there. And we're going to see if we can hit a repeater once we program, hit this repeater. It's 17 miles away. I don't think we will. I think it's way out of range for this one. But uh, to put it into the memory now, now that you selected the frequency, you're going to go function, memory, and then you're going to see the number over here blink. It's going to go to essentially whatever slot you want to put it in. Okay, we're going to put it in slot number 6, and then what you're going to do is hit memory again. Then if you go to memory mode, you'll see that number 6 is that frequency. Of course, I don't have anything in 7 or 8 right now. And if you were to do a simplex frequency, you're going to go back to VFO mode, and you're then going to hit enter, and put, let's say, 144650. Uh, Let's say that's a simplex frequency you're looking for. Okay, you can turn off the tone by hitting the uh, top button here that says tone, and it'll cycle through CTCSS, uh, you know, squelch, carrier, etc. DCS tone. So now it's all blank and it just shows that frequency. And then again, what you're going to do to program that is hit function, memory, and we're going to put that in. I'm going to way up here because I'll never use this, so we'll put it in 20. And then hit memory again. Now if we hit memory again, 
we'll see that it goes from 11 to 20 and that frequency is there in the memory so it's fairly straightforward and then to get you know to the call channel it all it has a call button there and the ENC allows you to scroll through whatever you know so it's a very straightforward radio to use operate and uh, program so I hope you like this video uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding the Kenwood THK20A, uh, feel free to put those questions into the comment section. And I will, once I find my programming cable, be doing a video that a subscriber asked me to do on programming this with the software. I just can't find my uh, cable. So I got to find that uh, for uh, Tari. They wanted me to do that. And uh, once I do, I'll do that video. Um, but yeah, that's this one. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.